what I have here is a spectroscope. And so in this end, there's an eye hole where I can look through here and shine it at a light. And right here is a slit where the light can be let in. And then over here is a diffraction grating lens. And whenever I shine the light into my spectroscope, I can get the light to come in here. And then if I look over this way, I can see what uh, the emission spectrum is for the light that I'm looking at. And so if I'm looking at it to the light bulb here, I see a pretty much a full spectrum of color. There is a little bit where it's specifically at 4.9. And the unit for this, I don't remember. I think the 4.9, I think 4.9 equals 490 nanometers. So it's 4.9 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. I think that that's how it correlates. I have different um, light bulbs. Uh, technically these are bulbs that are full of different gases. So this first one is hydrogen and then mercury and then helium. So whenever I turn this on, and then I find the light through my spectroscope, I can see the emission spectrum for hydrogen. I just put mercury in here. Whenever I look at the emission spectrum for mercury, I can see it. And then I'm going to do Helium. And we'll be able to see its emission spectrum too. And we get different emission spectra for different elements because of where the electrons are in those different elements. If we figure out the electronic configuration for hydrogen, helium, and mercury, we'll see that the, the valence electrons, the ones that are on the very outside of the um, atoms, those are the ones that can get excited up to another level. And the excitement that's gonna happen, the amount of electrons that get excited and the levels where they get excited from and to are going to, once they fall back down into their their ground state levels, that's where energy, and it's in the form of a photon, uh, gets emitted, and it gets emitted at different energy amounts, and we can see that in the visible spectrum with a spectroscope.